carotid artery disease uh, is actually a chronic progressive process where there's a buildup of atherosclerosis, which is usually a combination of cholesterol, calcium that develops over time. And there are risk factors that lead to this progression. You know, most commonly patients who have diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, history of smoking, these are the patients that are more at risk for this disease process. What happens is when the artery becomes narrowed from this atherosclerosis, if it reaches a, a significant narrowing, that reduces the amount of blood to the brain and puts the brain at risk for lack of blood flow, which is what we call a stroke. Uh, it's actually a silent disease, uh, and there aren't really symptoms until the actual stroke. Uh, so as you know, primary care doctors and vascular uh, surgeons and cardiologists, we try to educate our patients in terms of their risk factors and try to catch them with screening tests, ultrasound, to try and pick up on the disease before it becomes symptomatic. Um, because there's a certain percentage of narrowing where we become concerned for the risk of stroke. You know, typically for patients that have never had a previous stroke, usually we say it's about above 80%. Um, anything less than that, then we sort of want to maximize aggressive medical conservative management. We want to make sure they're on the right medications like an aspirin, a cholesterol lowering medication, uh, control the blood pressure, control their sugar, uh, and keep them from progressing to that 80% or higher stenosis. The biggest um, important benefit to any carotid intervention is to reduce the risk of stroke. And this is why we only absolutely intervene when we know we're going to reduce their stroke. Because although it seems counterintuitive, intervening on the carotid artery has a risk of stroke as well. So we want to make sure that we maximize the benefit and reduce the risk. Uh, there are two interventions, for the most part, that are uh, offered. Uh, historically, carotid and dartorectomy, or rather the open surgical cleaning out of the carotid artery, has been the standard of care for many, many years. Um, TCAR is actually a, a new spin on an old ideology that many surgeons in the past have sort of tinkered with throughout research uh, and presentations. Uh, and it's actually really exciting for the newer generation vascular surgeons that something like this is finally available. So by introducing this sort of hybrid minimally invasive procedure with a very low stroke risk, it now offers the opportunity to treat patients who are currently high risk for any carotid intervention and to reduce their risk for stroke. You know, now we can do this procedure uh, with almost no complications um, and they go home the next day. Uh, they have very little pain. Um, and we've prevented them from having a stroke. So I think it's, it's a huge impact on the practice.